What's going on guys? Smiling Dread 4 here back with some more Marvel Ultimate Alliance for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So, in our last session, we finally head over to the Valley of Spirits, home of Mandarin, one of the most dangerous people in all the world. Of course, not nearly as bad as Iker Doom, but you get my drift. There, we were able to actually, well, beat him up for one thing. Also, we unlocked ourselves a new character, Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Su Supreme. And I know what you're thinking, yes, I used him at the end of the last session, but he did have some significance as what we're doing today. We see, we're switching headquarters. After finding out that the X-Men were kidnapped, spoiler alert, uh, we're going to be heading to a new headquarters, new place, and this just, this is going to fit it all. Before we do, I'm going to do a couple things, or rather one thing here. Let's see, if we go talk over some Nick Fury after completing that Ultron schematic uh, mission. You have the Ultimo schematics. Good work. The lab coats are going to spend weeks looking at these. And if we talk to him again? Hurry up. Once you're through here, we need to move out. Talk to Mr. Wingfoot when you're ready to go. Yep, he wants us in a rush, and these guys aren't any better. And for some reason, they don't have anything to do on our headquarters as transportation. So if you go talk to these guys after you've talked to them before, you won't get anything different. I mean, look, look at this. Talk to Black yes. Widow here. Can I? Same dialogue as last time. So with that said, I'm not gonna waste any time here. We're just gonna get going. Get Doctor Strange, please. Uh, but you come on. Okay. Let's just get moving. We're heading to a new headquarters, a new home, a new living space. Where will it be? Who knows? Only you guys will find out. Hi. What's new? Take us to the new headquarters, Wingfoot. Are you sure you wish to travel to the new headquarters? Yes, I am. I'm stoked for it, actually. Come on, let's go, 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 go. He's awake. Shield the castle. No. Nightcrawler. What's up, bro? And of course, luckily for you guys, it's a lot brighter on the screen. Whereas for me, it's, com it's mostly black. Fortunately, I remember this scene very well. Flash to that. And to that. Boom. Ding, ding, ding. Boop. Boom. Sheep. Hey, buddy, you missed. I like five feet. Was anyone expecting him? Oh, was anyone else expecting him to actually stab him with his tail? Get him to the lab immediately. You know, just out of curiosity, was anyone else expecting that? Because I sure did when I first played this game. That he just stab him with his tail, but no, it's just as effective. It's great. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. Gotcha. Thanks for the information, Doctor. But yeah, here we are. The Sanctum Sanctorum, home to Doctor Strange. See why I have him on the team now? completely fits. And I'd say it's a good trade for how he saves his Orb of Agamotto after the last session. Also, Gem of Oster, or Oster, however you pronounce it, I'm gonna click that, and that's gonna be of relevance soon. And here's the thing, if you don't have Doctor Strange in your party, you're actually gonna see him go through one of these corridors. Unfortunately, for unfortunate, unfortunately, hold on, hold on, cannot talk today, uh, you'll you will not be able to actually talk to him, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, it's a game. Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. Why do we leave Stark Tower, Colonel Fury? What happened to our old home? Did somebody break the toilets again? We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Logic at its finest. 
Eh, sort of, actually. Uh, has there been any word on the kidnapping of Nightcrawler or Jean Grey? Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveri is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. Gotcha. And we'll do just that. New headquarters. You guys didn't expect as much. Also, no reason why I have Doctor Strange out here. Use the door to Doctor Strange's bedroom, please. If you not, do not have him on the team as your lead, you will not be able to enter this room. Which you would want to do because of this. Two focus upgrades. Now will I grab them? Yeah, I don't see why not. Honestly, these guys have never been a big deal for me in this game. They're, a pre they're pretty standard. The Crystal of Hagoth. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Our new headquarters. Hello, Black Widow. Well, Loki's ploy worked. He tricked us into going to Mandarin's palace, leaving Doom free to kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Uh, did I miss a power dialogue or something? Was I just skimming over it? Either way. Uh, Colonel Fury said Professor Xavier located Nightcrawler in Latveria. Yes. He is somewhere in the Castle Doom, and that is exactly where you are headed. I would advise extreme caution. Doctor Doom is not to be underestimated. When you are ready to leave, use the orb of teleportation near Wong. Gotcha. So what is Castle Doom? Besides, you know, Doctor Doom's home. Located in Latveria's capital city. It looks like nothing more than a medieval castle. But it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. What kind of defenses are we talking about here? Doom prefers to use robots for security. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. Makes sense. Uh, how were Nightcrawler and Jean Grey kidnapped, out of all things? You would think Nightcrawler would have teleported out of harm's way. Jean Grey? She could fly with her telekinesis, but uh, I, di I digress. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Was anyone hurt? Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Okay, that brings me to my point. Uh, Nightcrawler could teleport out. Jean Grey can understand getting captured, but how Nightcrawler? Nightcrawler's teleporting is awesome, and I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, weren't you a Soviet agent once? Originally, I was a ballerina. But at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. You were married? Well, actually that doesn't kind of surprise me, but you are you were married. Hmm. Guess that explains why no one else has stolen your heart, or vice versa. Uh, why did you defect? I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. Ouch. Next Captain America movie, people? Maybe? It was no trouble at all. It's a possibility, you gotta admit that much. Hey Wong, buddy! Greetings Wong. Quite a legendary group of visitors we have here at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yes. This is a truly historic occasion. I have never before seen such an impressive team of superheroes. Quite right. But then, the world has never before been threatened by such a malevolent collection of villains as the Masters of Evil. I find it disconcerting that a man of Doctor Doom's brilliant intellect is capable of leading such an infamous group. I do as well, my friend. Were Doom to direct his talents towards the good of mankind, there's no telling what benefits would be gained. Are there any indications as to what the Masters of Evil are planning? None whatsoever. But I should think it to be something most diabolical, with Dr. Doom as their leader. It is certainly discomforting. Can we talk to him again? I believe we can. Greetings, Wong. Yes, quite like not. Let me try with someone else. Invisible Woman? Greetings, Wong. Quite yes, but I've not. 
Really? Okay, I guess he must be the conversation hog then. Fine by me. Fine by me. Of course. Well then, I guess we'll do initiate this other conversation with the mirror of the ancient one. Put that orb you found earlier in there, and then talk. A blurry image appears in the mirror and then sharpens to show a very old man floating in a void. A void of darkness. Is that you, my student? Yes, Master. It is I, Doctor Strange. The one and only Sorcerer Supreme! Why have you disturbed my meditation, young one? The world is in grave peril, Master. Doctor Doom has formed a band of villains known as the Masters of Evil. I would ask that you watch over us, aid us in whatever way you can. Rest assured, my friend, that the eyes of the Ancient One will forever be on you and your team. Thank you, my master. Yeah, thanks, man. Good to know we have a, uh... We got an old folk looking after us. It's amazing. No problem. Vision? I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Sure thing, Vision. Let's see if we can go find ourselves a book. But first, what do you know about Latveria, from uh, Black Widow's Latveria knowledge? Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. How's Doom done as the leader of Latveria so far? Surprisingly well. There's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. Kind of like America. And who is the Loki? He's the son of Lothi, king of the Frost Giants. Odin Knew took it. the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Lothi in battle. So Loki and Thor were raised as brothers then? Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor, and his desire to rule Asgard. Well, if my father was struck down by the god of Asgard and uh, forced me to be his son, alongside Thor, uh, I'd be a little more than skeptical as well. But thanks for the information, Vision. You're welcome. I'll make sure to get that book back to you as soon as we can. Also, before we in initiate that, we got ourselves a little thing saying we could revive our team, which... Kind of pointless, but okay. That's great. Hank? Did you need something else? Uh, what's the spear Wong is standing by? Wait, where is Wong? That's the orb of teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. I'm assuming Doctor Strange created it? Yes. I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, He's the only one who could create such a powerful, magical item. Makes sense, and thanks for the info. Ah, don't worry about it. I think we would. I think we would. Alright. Now I'm gonna take out the Iceman here himself, and we come over to this little room. We got Dr. Z Xavier himself, or Professor X, as you, if you want to be a little more simplistic. Talk to him. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men. Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the Wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Have you had any luck fighting your people? Yes. With the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. That's the country Dr. Doom rules, as we all know. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise. Although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. Alright, thanks for that information. Of course. Uh, don't worry, we'll come back in about five seconds. Greetings, Bobby. I trust you're learning from this rather unique group of individuals. You bet, Professor. Man, the things Ghost Rider can do with those chains. And when Deadpool gets going with that katana, wow, talk about messy. Okay, first of all, spoiler alert! Second of all, uh... When do you get a chance to see Deadpool in action? Oh wait, never mind, scratch that. Yes. 
Perhaps you could shift your focus to Black Panther or Captain America. Ooh. -hoo. Nice. I think you see where he's going with that. So what's that device beside you? This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. What's Cerebro? It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. So that's your makeshift compass. Are you the only one who can use Cerebro? No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. So which of the X-Men have clearance so far? Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. Who is Nightcrawler? We already know this. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's well, perhaps you guys the don't. kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Is he an X-Man? Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. And Jean Grey? Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics. More so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. And that danger is... If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. So in other words, the bringer of Ragnarok. Good to know. Thanks for your information, Xavier. Of course. Come back anytime. Don't worry, we'll be back within the next session. Don't worry about it. And before we go upstairs to, uh, you know, do a couple of things. Sir. Well, actually, I'll try this out first. Oh, move it. Thank you. Uh, talk to Fury here. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's Palace, but the team did a good job. I'm sure you'll have no trouble in Latveria. Thanks, for, thanks Fury. So why is Professor Xavier here? I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. What makes him so special? We are answered to this. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Which should come as no surprise. So why would you kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler of all people? S.H.I.E.L.D. analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. Why do they think that? If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. <laughs> and with Jean Grey... I hate to think what could happen. How do you mean? My guess is the Phoenix, of all things. Her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix. She could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. Yep, I saw that coming. Uh, how did S.H.I.E.L.D. get start, of all... How, how did that happen? It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. And since then, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s grown some. A lot, actually. Yes. There was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. At least until we can convince him that she is a traitor. Uh, we know she is. She had that laptop and was actually suspicious. But besides that point... No problem. Alright then. And now to change the team up a bit. Of course, this being the Sanctum Sanctorum, you can expect that Doctor Strange will be talked to in this area, so I'm going to trade him out for someone else. Who do I want? Who haven't we played as yet? Mr. Fantas? We've literally played as everyone here. And there's a bunch of extra characters. Locked, locked, locked. Locked. Let's see if I remember this. Alright, so... Two of these characters are easily unlocked through reasoning, which you'll find out later. Uh, let's see. Then there's another two that can be unlocked in certain areas, like Doctor Strange. That makes four. I know there's one and you can unlock for completing all the training simulator missions. Who's the sixth, though, of all people? I want to figure that out later. But until then... It just remains a mystery. But yeah, we've played as everyone here. I guess it's time to start bringing back some old characters. For example, um... Actually, you know what? 
Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Easy, we easy a little bit for the first part. I see we, I see we give you some uh, reasoning behind fighting. So let's go. Time to bust some heads. Well, you're on the right track, at the very least. Combine light and heavy melee attacks to perform powerful fighting moves. Your combo system, in in a sense. For a second, I thought that was Doctor Strange, but I remember. I head to the sanctuary. My sanctuary, my sanctuary, yeah, where fears and lies melt away. Greetings, I need to stop. humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend to Doctor Strange. Why do I have a feeling you are more than just friends? Uh, can we look around here? Yes, but be wary. This is where Doctor Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless, but some could prove quite dangerous. Like a Nova being dangerous? Poof. Hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, was perfect. He was able to help you then. Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one. From last time. Well... Yeah, we can do that later. We came up here, we changed characters, might as well. Also X button. History of the Arcane. Yeah, we can go, go talk to Vision when we go, uh... You know, I pick up the action figure. Four of the five, only one more to go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I actually know where, where one of them is. Uh, around this section. Possibly. Grab the simulator disc. Shouldn't come as a surprise. Doctor Strange has his own simulator. Or we'll return to the current mission as uh as a thing. And then we can just talk around. And like I said, there he is. And you can actually walk through him. He's telepathic for some reason. Or a ghost. I don't understand either, just roll with it. Greetings. Just go with this. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses. I now sense it as well. No, we have not. The dark magically has senses, but will it do? It might as well ask. It is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark, waiting for its moment to pounce. And there's nothing more you can tell us then. I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch nemesis, Baron Mordo. Go figure. Uh, how do you know the Baron? Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Your teacher? From, uh, which we talked to earlier. Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. That probably would do it. Uh, who's the Ancient One? He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic, and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots, and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then, he met me. And we all know the story from there! Thanks for the backstory, man. You're quite welcome. Now, as for this dark energy, clear, clear me, can clear something up? Humans, I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house, waiting to pounce like a wolf in the night. Do you know who's responsible for this magic? Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron. Coming straight to the point. Uh, who are you, of all people? My name is Clea. I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. And you, of all people, know who Doctor Strange is? Yes. We are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth, and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it from the corrupt rule of my mother. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Of all things. 
you know, between the uh, sorcerers and sorceresses. Uh, dark magic is after us? All I can tell you is, this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil energy. Do you know when this evil magic will happen? That is what most concerns me. It is happening now, even as we speak. Like a menacing vulture, it hovers waiting to strike. And apparently you love making a lot of animal love references. Uh, who is the Baron Mordo? A vile dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. And though he has great inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might of Doctor Strange. Why are they rivals? Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Stephen discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the Ancient One. And by attempted, you mean he did tell him and they were able to stop him. Uh, thanks for the warning, Clea. Of course. By the way, is it just me or... Do, does anyone else want to see a Doctor Strange movie, of all things? I'm kind of curious. I'd actually like to see that. Let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be a great idea. If you don't think it's a good idea, then, well, bite me. Uh, talk to the Spider Woman? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, why do men get stupid around you? Oh. You must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. A pheromone thingy. Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. Are you any relation to Spider-Man? None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. You've never even dated? Well, that actually wouldn't be a surprise to me. Well... He is cute, in a geeky sort of way, but with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Yeah, I, I expect that much. So why are you called Spider-Woman, then? Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the Web Slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. <sighs> Even Spider-Man can't do that. No. He also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. Well, he doesn't need to. He's Spider-Man. He's got all his web fluids and stuff. It was my pleasure. I mean, why would you need to actually worry about hand-to-hand -hand combat if you could just go from a distance, web them, and then boom, you're done. And hand-to-hand -hand combat? You people have played the Amazing Spider-Man video games, right? He is buffed in those games. Just best combat ever. Hello. How are you? I am great. Daredevil. Hey, by the way, I have added these action figures, if you if you don't mind me keeping them for a bit, you know, a little memorabilia. Oh, thanks, I, I knew you would, buddy. Thanks. Uh, do you think Black Widow might be uh, working for Doctor Doom? Oh, this is not gonna end well. You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No, it's impossible. Black Widow is a lot of things, but she's not a traitor. How do you know that she's not lying to you? May her, her emotions are getting in the way of yours? I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, she doesn't act like she's lying. The last time I checked, women are great at hiding their lies, so how would you know by any means? So yeah, what do you mean Black Widow doesn't act like she's lying? That's... that sets up a lot of things. A person's heart rate changes when they lie, and Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. Ah, that's right. Your acute sense of hearing, thanks to your little accident. Yes. That's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. What did the radioactive waste do to you, of all things? It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of my surroundings. Man, I wish my dog had something like that. Diabetes, little cataracts in his eyes, it's kinda sad. Uh, but how did you learn to fight so well, if all, out of all things? That was because a martial artist 
named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. Go figure. I uh, thanks, Daredevil. Anytime. All right then. Now all we gotta do is talk to the Vision and get that little book, and we should be good to go. And of course, we can get on the Ars Arcanum. Or wait, no, that's King Hearts. Never mind. Uh, we can give him that book of all things, so we can move on. And ah, okay, moving hearts. Uh, just moved out of my spot and my butt buzz sore. That's something you like to do, but you have to. Oh wait, vision, 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 vision. Ah, you found the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. No problem. And by the way, do you saw that security module? The one for accessing shield data. Yes, I still have it. Could you give it to us? I suppose there's no harm in that. You're welcome. Just be glad he doesn't ask us why we need it, of all things. If you found out what we were doing, yeah, that would set up some alarms. A lot of them, actually. Well, fortunately, robots are ignorant. Fortunately. Or at the very least, this one is. Hey, Weasel, right here. Well, Boy. What have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet! Now I can do some serious hacking. Enjoy yourself, Weasel. Hope you have fun with that little Tetris solving. By the way, how did you find us? Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on Earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool told me. Go figure. The merc with the mouth, indeed. Uh, how did you get in here, then? Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me, and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Yeah, we can have Iron Man take care of that. He's a billionaire, after all. Any word on the Aperium? Nothing new. Far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. And still, no idea why Black Widow had information on the Imperium security system to begin with? Well, I bet she's working for the other team. But we'll know more once I hack into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Good to know. Thanks for that, Weasel. Uh, you can thank me later. With cash. Like I said, why we'll Tony bill you? He is the billionaire, after all, of the, of the entire team. That makes him so unique. He can pay off his enemies just like that. Well, most of them. Others just want him for revenge, of all things. But hey, you know, money doesn't win everything. And, uh, I don't know what that was. Well, it's time to teleport, then. We got our team together. I could bring Doctor Strange if I want to, but... Eh, we're, we're good. We'll bring him back later on. Trust me, you'll see him later. Next session, actually, maybe. Anyway, use the orbit teleportation. Onward! To Liberia we go! Baron Mordo, I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured, I have taken all the necessary steps. <laughs> An infant could have cast better spells. The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most... unpleasant. What of the mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega base? Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, 
the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Mm, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. 